Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released two new builds to the Insider program. One for the Dev channel and one for the Beta channel, which are basically mirror images of each other and are identical copies when it comes to new features and changes and improvements. So just one video to collate what's new in the Dev and the Beta channel for this week. Now, as you can see, Microsoft is introducing the new start menu for Windows 11 where the updated start menu shows pinned apps on the top, recommended apps and files in the middle and installed apps which are grouped by a new category you are on the bottom and over and above those changes Microsoft has also updated the start menu and introduced two new ways to view installed apps as mentioned by category and by grid. Now Microsoft mentions um, from the change log that it's making better use of your screen real estate by adapting the size of the start menu based on your screen size. So if you have a larger screen device you can expect to see a larger start menu by default so you can see more of your apps and files. So on larger devices you can expect to see eight columns, like we currently have in this demonstration, columns of pinned apps, six recommendations, and four columns of categories. Microsoft says on smaller devices, you'll see six columns of pinned apps, four recommendations, and three columns of categories. So basically the start menu, as Microsoft says, will have responsive sections according to the size of your screen. And Microsoft also mentions that there will be sections within start that are now responsive and can collapse, such as the recommended section. So if you don't want recommended, you can collapse that and you only get pinned and your all apps, category view, grid view, and so on. And I actually think that's a nice move. Finally being able to get rid of that recommended section, which is one of my pet peeves currently in the stable version of Windows 11, as you may well know. And then lastly, Microsoft says, you can also now expand and collapse mobile device content using the new mobile device button next to the search box. And I think that's also a nice touch, just being able to toggle on the companion here, the widget to the right hand side and toggle it off. So that's the new start menu now, which seems to be getting closer to a stable release. It's now in the beta channel, so going to be interesting to see when that makes its way into the stable version. And then just to have a look at some other new changes and improvements for the dev in the beta channel. You can now add, remove, and rearrange lock screen widgets such as weather, watch list, sports, traffic, and so on. And any widget that supports the small sizing option can also be added here, according to Microsoft. So you'll be able to choose what lock screen widgets appear. And I actually think this is also a nice move in the right direction. And then yes, something I posted on yesterday, I think, and I'll leave the video for that link down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more info, but a quick recap. Basically, with Windows Search in the settings, what Microsoft is going to do, what Microsoft is doing is it's combining and bringing the Search Permissions Settings page and the Search Windows Settings page and bringing those two settings pages together so that you can easily access all the Windows Search settings under a single settings page via Privacy and Security Search. And this was a hidden feature and has now made its way into official testing. But go check that other video out if you'd like some more information. With Microsoft saying that the page is refreshed with a new modern visual for you to clearly browse the settings and control your experience inside Windows Search with the items listed in a better order. And I also think this is a step in the right direction as I mentioned yesterday. And then Microsoft is also rolling out an improvement for Narrator which will now guide you through its new features by launching a series of modal windows which contain the details of all the new features and changes in Narrator. And something else that's also rolling out to Narrator is a new feature called Screen Curtain in Narrator, which I'm just going to mention, 
which is a feature now in Narrator designed to enhance privacy and focus for users who rely on screen reading, which is especially beneficial in public spaces. With Microsoft saying that when activated, screen curtain completely blacks out the display, ensuring that only the user hears what's on the screen through Narrator, while the visual content remains hidden from view. So, a couple of new improvements rolling out there for Narrator. And the gamepad layout, moving on to the next, of the Windows Touch Keyboard has been updated, says Microsoft, with enhanced controller navigation and improved focus handling for child keys, flyout menus, word suggestions, language switching settings, and more, according to Microsoft. And Microsoft also says that it has now designed a new gamepad keyboard optimized for gaming to support PIN. Sign in on the Windows lock screen. It features controller shortcuts for quick PIN entry, says Microsoft, along with full controller navigation for users who prefer not to use shortcuts. So those are the new features and improvements rolling out for the dev and the beta channel for this week. And then over and above those, there are fixes for both and also known issues because we are still in preview. And going to be interesting to see, as mentioned, when this new start menu makes its way into the stable channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.